Hello everyone, welcome back to Anshul Gupta MD. Levothyroxine is the most common medicine which is prescribed for thyroid disorder world over. If you have a thyroid disorder like hypothyroid, low thyroid or Hashimoto's disease, then most likely you have been prescribed this medicine called levothyroxine, which comes under different brand names in different countries. Today, I'm going to share with you new shocking truths which have came up in the new recent study. But I want to put a disclaimer out here. This video is not intended to tell you to stop the medicine or change the medicine. I'm giving you this information to discuss with your doctor so you both can make the right decision for you. So let's get started. I'm going to share with you three shocking truths based on the research studies that have came up. So the very first shocking truth out here is that the new research study shows that you may not need the levothyroxine medicine for treating your thyroid disorder. Yes. Yes, you heard it right. This research study says that if you have subclinical hypothyroid, then the medicine might not be doing any benefit to you. What is subclinical hypothyroidism? Subclinical hypothyroidism condition means that when you're getting your thyroid blood work, then the only abnormal value that you have is an abnormal or high TSH, while the other thyroid values like your free T3 and free T4 are within the normal range. So first of all, for this, you need to see whether you have done all the three tests of TSH, T3 and T4. And if you have done these testing and the only abnormal value value is TSH and if the TSH is between the value of 4 and 10 and your T3 and T4 is within the normal limit then you may not need the medicine. The reason being this research study followed 2192 patients with thyroid disorder for more than five years and what it showed was that there was no significant improvement in their symptoms there was no significant improvement in risk of dying there was no significant improvement in morbidity or mortality what that means is that they did not see any significant improvement in any disease parameter over the course of five years even with taking the medicine. So that's the reason this particular research study says that for people with subclinical hypothyroidism, they might not need the treatment. What this research study showed that TSH can be elevated for various reasons. One of the main reasons is that as soon as you hit your 40s and 50s, there is a slight increase in TSH. The second reason is that if your body gets exposed to any kind of stress, emotional, mental, physical, that can cause the TSH to go elevated. The last reason is that if you are going through any kind of diseases, like any viral infections, parasitic infections, bacterial infections, or any other disease that can also lead to increase in the TSH. So that's the reason it is very important not only to check your TSH, but also T3 and T4 to know the complete picture. Now, again, as I told you before, there are specific conditions or in specific people, thyroid medicine is needed. So please discuss with your doctor about it. But let's talk about the second shocking truth. The second shocking truth is that the levothyroxine medicine doesn't do anything to help the Hashimoto's patients. What is Hashimoto's? Hashimoto's is an autoimmune condition of your thyroid gland where your body is producing antibodies like thyroid peroxidase and thyroglobulin antibodies to destroy your thyroid gland. Most of the people who have worked with me for Hashimoto's disease have been told that this levothyroxine medicine is going to help them lower the thyroid antibodies and that is a big lie. Levothyroxine medicine doesn't play any role in lowering the thyroid antibodies. In fact, the conventional medicine thinks that there is no medicine or there is no way to lower the thyroid antibodies in Hashimoto's disease. But in functional medicine, we have made protocols for people who can lower the antibody levels and sometimes even reverse the antibody levels back to zero. The third shocking truth is that levothyroxine medicine has been associated with certain side effects. The very first side effect that levothyroxine medicine gives to some of the people is that they feel more anxious, more irritable or mood changes is felt in those people. The second side effect is that people feel that their heart is beating fast or they feel heart palpitations. The third side effect is that they can have stomach bloating or stomach discomfort which has worsened after taking the medicine. And the last shocking truth that you should be aware of is based on this new research study that came out of Sweden that enrolled 8 million people 
who were taking levothyroxine on the long term basis and what it showed was that on the long term basis people who are being treated with levothyroxine have increased risk for cancer for women this increased risk for for breast cancer as well as for stomach cancer for males it was mainly the increased risk for cancer for thyroid gland again this is a new research study which did show a correlation between a slight increase in cancer risk treated for levothyroxine for long term basis I'm including the links to both of these research study in the description so you can read and go through them for your own understanding. So now your bigger question is that how you should be treating your thyroid disorder? Is there a natural or a safe way to treat your thyroid disorder? So yes, in functional medicine, we use natural approaches to help your thyroid disorder. We talk about specific diets. Food plays a very important role in healing your thyroid as well as specific nutrients which are needed to help your thyroid to function better as well as recover from any damage it has been done because of these antibodies. I have made several other videos on my channel which is specifically dedicated about diet supplements related to thyroid. So please check out those videos so that you can help your thyroid condition on your own. I hope you like this video. If you do, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.